Hey there and welcome to Cory Loses, where today we're going to be doing another quick Star Wars Empire at War modding tutorial. So this is a very simple one, uh, but it's requested quite a bit. Uh, so we're going to be looking at how to change the pop cap in tactical battles, uh, specifically in space. You can change it in land combat, but it's really it causes a bunch of other bugs if you do that. So I generally would recommend if you want to have more units in ground combat that you just increase the company size. But anyways, we're going to look at space units or space cap today. So uh, this does assume that you have a mod installed or the source files installed that you want to modify. So if you don't know how to get the source files, uh, I did a previous video. There will be a link in the description of that. Uh, but we're going to start in our mods folders here. So we're in the corruption folder. I'm using the Steam version right now. But again, this is assuming that you know where these things are. You can see the path here. But we are going to look first at uh, how to change it in the base game. It's the same idea everywhere. So you're going to go into source uh, or whatever the mod name is, then into the data. XML and that it is all set by factions. So there's the factions.xml file and expansion factions.xml. So what you're going to want to do is open either or both of those, uh, which I am doing over here. So that that's open. You'll see something that looks like this. So this indicates the start of an entry for any faction. Uh, I'm just going to show you that it is the same thing for every faction. So you can see that there. And then if you go through uh, the expansion factions, you'd see the exact same thing. So whichever faction you want to change the, f the pop cap for, and it is set individually for each one, you just look through here, and you can see here the line space tactical unit cap. So you can change this to whatever you want. Uh, let's say we want it at 100. You just set 100, and that'll set it for the rebels. Uh, if you want to do it for the empire, uh, let's do let's search for the empire. And we're also going to set them to 100. So you can set each faction to whatever you want. Uh, most mods will be structured the same way, but uh, in Imperial Civil War, if you're looking specifically to modify that, our file structure is a little bit different. Uh, so you're going to go into your mods folder, so ICW22 full, uh, or Imperial Civil War, whatever it's called, uh, data, XML. Uh, and then we have a separate subfolder for Imperial Civil War stuff, because we do keep Fall of the Republic and Imperial Civil War in different folders. So just ICW, and then we only have entries in factions.xml. So you can see here, our expansion factions is empty, uh, and factions.xml. So it's the same thing, space tactical unit cap. Uh, you can change this to whatever you like. If you are using a Steam Workshop mod, uh, you're going to go to this folder. So Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, or Steam Apps Workshop content, and then 32470 is the uh, the workshop or is the Steam ID number for Empire at War. Uh, and then if you have a mod uh, subscribed, this is the one for ICW. You kind of have to know which one's which, uh, which you can see on the Steam Workshop page. But you go in, data, XML, ICW, and then again, it's the same thing. So that's all you have to do. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the, in the uh, comments. And uh, if you have any requests for a future tutorial, uh, maybe something a bit more involved, uh, a bit more complicated, then also feel free to let me know in the comments, and I will try to do this a lot more often than I have been. So thanks for watching. Again, hope this was helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.